Hi, my name is Shane and welcome to my Six Sad Vlog. Today I want to talk about quality of life and specifically pertaining to someone in my extended family. Um, someone that I'm not particularly close to, but in my family nonetheless. And this person has, has life-threatening issues right now and um, they have been bedridden for a while because they have lost the use of their legs. They um, this person cannot stand, walk, anything like that. Um, otherwise, fairly, well, I shouldn't even say fairly healthy. This person also has uh, fluid around their heart. And part of the, the illness and the sickness is self-inflicted, poor lifestyle ch choices, uh, chemical dependency, things like that. Um, not taking care of their health when problems arose initially. Um, and part of that is, uh, a financial decision this person is not particularly uh, can't really afford health care and even um, even welfare related health care Medicaid whatever it is um, they haven't been that proactive in taking care of themselves and this person like I said I believe I said um, has lost the use of their legs they're um, they can't stand they can't walk and they have fluid around their heart and the determination is that I just I just found out that the legs might have to be amputated and at what point and this won't necessarily resolve the issue with the fluid around the heart so my question about quality of life would be and this would be a horrible decision to have to make for anybody I already know what my answer would be, but I'm kind of curious as to what you might um, have to say. If you've um, unfortunately have had gone, have had to go through this, or you know somebody that has, I would love to hear your input. Um, something like this hasn't um, affected anybody around me, um, family, friends that I know of. Uh, this would be a first, and it's a horrible first, definitely. Um, the uh, the intention I believe I don't really have that much contact with this person but sure. um, I believe the intention would be that if the leg amputation was to take place it would prolong the life of this individual but the the um, the issue with the fluid around the heart would still remain and I don't think it's curable I think it's treatable but it's not necessarily curable and my question would be would you sacrifice your limbs just for a small amount of time no matter maybe weeks months maybe a few months maybe I doubt it but maybe a year um, and still have this problem with the um, with the uh, fluid around the heart if I believe and I know this is not an easy decision for anybody that has had to make this decision I don't make I don't talk about it lightly, but I believe my decision would be if my life-threatening issue with the heart and the fluid wasn't going to be relieved or um, solved by the leg amputation, I think I would just keep my legs and, and allow nature to take its course from there. I don't, I couldn't imagine losing any limb, uh, much less my legs. To me, in my mind, I just would be a burden on everybody else. And the people I would be a burden on, um, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't imagine putting that pressure on them to um, take care of me. Being bedridden is one thing, um, but to have your legs amputated is, to me, in my mind, something completely different. And if, especially if it doesn't resolve the, um, the other problem, I could see maybe if you had terminal, um, a disease or something in your leg or your legs and the rest of you is fine, I would understand that. I wouldn't want to have to go through that either, but I, I would understand that if the legs had to come off or whatever limb had to come off, I would understand that. But I don't believe there's any guarantees that one operation will resolve the other condition. And so I think I would just rather stay whole as a person, as a physical person, and like I said, let nature take its course. And 
perhaps not, I, I'm trying my best not to be insensitive to the people that have gone through this before um, or the people that know people that have. Uh, I just haven't dealt with it myself and I'm thankful that this is the first time, unfortunately. I mean, I imagine there's other people that have had more experience with this and had to make these tough decisions. But my question to you is, would you go through with the operation if it wouldn't necessarily resolve the other problem? And um, I don't know if I can phrase it any better than that. I apologize. It's just, I wanted to share this. I wanted to get some feedback from this because this is a unique situation that I've never encountered with anybody that I know, family, friends, or whatever. And um, I can't imagine the decisions that the person, this person has to make. Like I said, I would just stay whole, physically whole, and go on from there rather than the other option. So um, please, if you, know anybody with this has gone through this experience or if you unfortunately had to go through this experience uh, let me know um, your input if you would be so kind and uh, I, I think that's all I have so I appreciate you watching thanks for uh, hanging out with me for a little while and I will see you soon with another video later